this morning, uh, after a very busy morning, uh, the minister goes out to uh, Winchester to make a very important health care announcement in support for the uh, Winchester Hospital. Uh, certainly uh, a hospital that I have greatly supported uh, throughout my political career at uh, Queen's Park and it was great as, as I'm heading down and out, it was great that the uh, Ministry of Health still uh, has, has great interest in rural health care and uh, opportunities for rural health care and supports to rural health care and I certainly want to thank uh, the minister for, for coming out there and, and certainly taking some time out to visit my mother too. <laughs> and my mother just became, just became a resident of Dundas County. She, uh, she's now in a home, uh, Dundas Manor, and uh, the minister was able to pop in to see uh, probably, uh, probably well, my biggest supporter and uh, perhaps my government's biggest supporter too. Uh, but she's going to miss that because she doesn't have, she can't get the parliamentary channel out there at Dundas Manor, but we'll have to do something about that. But uh, this, uh, it's indeed my honor and uh, privilege to, uh, to welcome you and to welcome the minister here. Uh, minister Matthews is, uh, is the MPP from uh, London North Centre, uh, first elected in 2003 when I was elected and uh, re-elected in 2007. Uh, she has held portfolios, Minister of Children and Youth Services and Minister Responsible for Women's Issues, and I certainly know her strong advocacy for uh, the province's pro uh, poverty reduction strategy. And uh, she was a spokesperson, certainly the one who, who rolled up her sleeves and certainly got busy with the uh, group that uh, brought about our uh, poverty reduction strategy. And uh, certainly I'm proud of your work and you have uh, uh, on many o occasions inspired me to continue to advocate, advocate in my writing for, uh, for poverty reduction. And I, I know just not long ago I was uh, knocking on some doors at Queen's Park trying to, uh, to get more attention to that very thing. Uh, in 2009, October 2009, uh, 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 Mr. Matthews was appointed Minister of uh, Health and Long-Term Care and she's uh, done tremendous work in that portfolio. And perhaps one of the, um, the crowning pieces in her work would be the Excellent Care for All Act, which uh, she basically spearheaded and it's been perhaps the single most important uh, piece of legislation uh, that, uh, that we have uh, had at, uh, at Queen's Park and Healthcare since the uh, publicly funded uh, healthcare. Uh, she certainly leads a, a busy life and uh, I, uh, for, for those, uh, I'm just going to stray for a moment because it was something that I forgot and I normally, when I'm in the city of Cornwall, I just came from Dundas is to say, gave you new to uh, all of you. Uh, I certainly know back at the back and said in grand plaisir pour ma dette avec vous aujourd'hui and a great pleasure to, to welcome the minister and uh, the minister does have the busiest and biggest ministry at Queen's Park but I know as a mother of three uh, and, and now a grandmother of Isaac, Thomas, Annie and Paxson she is a very busy lady trying to balance her love of family with her love of politics and her, her love of health care in the province. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I'd like to welcome Minister Deb Matthews, Minister of Health and Long Term Care. Well, thank you so much, Jim. It really is great to be here, and I want to say thank you for, uh, for arranging this, um, this gathering for us. Now, I almost wonder, there, I think we can take a, just a few minutes, if you don't mind, if we could just quickly go around the room, if you would just say who you are and if you represent an organization or, or there's something about you you can say, I would, I would just think it would be great if we could all at least introduce each other. So I'm going to start with you, Bernadette, if you don't mind. Hi, Bernadette Clément, I sit on the City Council for the City of Cornwall and I'm also a lawyer with the Legal Aid, SDG Legal Aid Clinic here in Cornwall. Hi, Deborah Daigle. My day job is City of Cornwall um, and United Counties, uh, Social Housing and Social Services and Child Care is my department. Um, and I'm involved in a lot of governance uh, uh, activities as well, so the Ottawa Hospital Board and the OHA, and now recently the uh, Seaway Valley Community Health Center. So I'm a big fan of all the initiatives of the, uh, the government. Thank you. Um, Beverly Pike from Office Estimate, and uh, I'm a on the executive from the whole party, I'm also a Mark's office manager. 
Hi, my name is Cheryl Jacobs. I'm from Ottawa's Estimate. I'm a former district chief, uh, and I'm also liberal. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be clear, this is not a liberal gathering. <laughs> this is a gathering of, of people who are interested in politics. <laughs> Hi, my name is Amy Mallion, and I'm with the Cornwall Area Chamber of Commerce. My name is Leslie Strasser. I'm the Executive Manager of the Chamber of Commerce. We have over 700 members, and I'm a proud mother of two children. <laughs> Entering university. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Penny Rutterham, a real estate salesperson with Royal LePage Performance. I am a mother of three, and this will be my first year that I vote. Ah. Sir? Well, my name is Frank Cash, I'm just a constituent. Great. Hi, my name is Rudy Bonnell, I'm on the executive assistant. Mark, this is very important to me. I have seven sisters, so women in any type of form or any type of government is very important. <laughs> Hi, my name is Nazis Chandra. Uh, my family and I run two retirement homes in the town. Uh, I'm also the CFO for the Liberal Party, Mark. <laughs> Diane Corey, I'm here as the Vice President of the Centre Culturel representing <coughs> Earl's NYU, who couldn't be here today as President. Mark McDonald, I'm a retired firefighter and a former city councillor, and presently I'm the Liberal candidate in the riding to replace Jim Brown. Suzanne Villeneuve, I'm the coordinator of the Centre Culturel de Bourbon, and I'm also a uh, corporate secretary for the Société pour la Promotion de l'Église, and I'm also a member of the Bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> My name is uh, Jean Lecomte, I'm the president of the uh, Society for the Promotion of Bilingualism, the Ontario Francais Spirit and Education. Yes. <coughs> Go ahead. I, I think I've been introduced. <laughs> I'm Elaine McDonald. I'm a city councillor and I'm the uh, NDP candidate for this riding. And um, actually, I started a group last fall of women in politics for all parties. And we've had three dinners to date and looking forward to having more, and I'm really happy to be here. I'm Monica McPhail. I'm just a private citizen, retired nurse, and most of my nursing career was in long-term care, so I'm very interested in anything in the health line. Great. I'm Helen Huang. Uh, I'm the owner of the Truly in Plus Photo Pills. Wonderful. Hi, I'm Delsa Taylor. My um, interest is health information management and electronic health records, and I'm working part-time at the Seaway Valley CHC. Hi, I'm Jessica McLeod, and I'm a student working at the Sea Valley Community Health Center also. Not just a student, she also developed a program for us. <laughs> Cooking for One for Seniors. I'm oh, excellent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm Lucy Sorensen, and I'm the admin assistant there. Hi, I'm Danielle with the Standard Freeholder. Okay. <laughs> I'm Michelle, the Executive Director with the Social Development Council of Cornell and Area. Beautiful. Well, welcome everyone. Bienvenue. Um, I'm very happy to be here in Cornwall. I, I want to tell you a little bit about what, uh, what you can expect. This is a bit unusual. But I have a little presentation that I've been taking around, uh, meeting with you know, groups of, uh, of mostly women, but not just women. And it's really about a conversation about the difference it makes um, when you have women in politics. And I want to... Uh, I guess I want to preface it by saying um, women are different than men and women bring something different to the uh, decision-making table than men do. That's not to say all women think of the same on all issues or that all men think differently on all issues. There's lots of overlap, but you know that in the world of politics we are still very much underrepresented. Women are very much in underrepresented, but I do want to demonstrate through this presentation how uh, when women work together to drive change, we really can drive change. Um, and uh, so I'll, I'll go through my presentation and then we'll have time for, uh, I'll be very interested to hear your reaction, your thoughts, uh, your advice on what we need to do next. 
um, your impressions. And so it's uh, it's it's really a conversation. But I'm going to kick it off with this uh, with this presentation that takes sort of 25 minutes or so. So make yourself comfortable if you haven't already. <coughs> you have to eat. You're